I don't know about you, but I'm always needing to jot down a quick note, and I usually end up fumbling for a pencil and grabbing a piece of paper. And while I've done this most of my life, I don't do that anymore, and neither should you. I now use Apple Notes. If you're a senior citizen and you'd like to learn how to use Apple Notes, then stick around. This video is for you. Hi, I'm Rich Bolin, and this is part five in my iPhone Tips for Senior series. Links to the first four videos are in the description below. I'm building out an extended series of short videos that'll show you in an easy to understand way how to use your iPhone. If you find these videos helpful, please consider subscribing by hitting the subscribe button and tapping the little bell and thumbs up icon. When you do that, YouTube takes notice and shares these videos with a wider audience. So I'm a note taker and I don't just use Apple Notes for quick note taking, although I do that too. I store all kinds of information in my notes. I scan receipts, I plan vacations, I keep track of medicines, I make notes about family and friends. I do all kinds of things in Apple Notes. You might not think about using your phone for notes, but it really is handy, and it's in your pocket a lot of the time, so why not use it? In this video, I'm gonna give you five great tips on how to use Apple Notes on the iPhone. Tip one, how to save your notes to iCloud and don't freak out about iCloud, it's easy. Tip two, how to take a quick note with force touch. Tip three, how to scan receipts to your notes. Tip four, how to add a photo to a note. And tip five, how to create folders. Folders are your friends. All right, let's get started. Okay, the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your notes are being saved to iCloud. And why do you need to do that? Well, that's so that your notes are saved uh, it, when you change your phone or if you damage or break your phone, you can always get back to your notes. If you don't have that turned on, then notes are just simply saved to your local phone. So how you do that is you go to settings, you tap on your name, and you go down to iCloud, and then you look for notes right here, and you make sure that the little uh, switch is flipped on for notes, and that means you're saving your notes to iCloud. And that's the first thing that you want to do. Very simple. So I used to just grab a notebook, rip a sheet of paper out, and start writing a note on it, stuff the note in my pocket, and I would inevitably lose it. Um, but it was an easy way to do things. Well, taking a note on the iPhone is just as easy. Uh, you don't have to do a whole lot. If you go to your notes icon and just press and hold it, you'll get an option for a new note. So just tap on new note, Tap a title, title of note. Hit return and start typing your note. This is my note. And then just click done. And that is how you quickly add a note. Okay, the next thing I want to show you is how to scan a document. You know, you may need to scan a receipt or you may need to scan an insurance policy or whatever, and it's something that you want to save and you want to put in your notes. Well, it's very easy to do. Once again, you just tap on the icon and hold it and click tap scan document. Then I've got a receipt here and I'm just going to line it up and take it. And then I'm going to click keep scan. And that's it. Now, click on save, and I go back to folders, and I go to my notes. It, it actually gave it the title Coles. This was a Coles gift receipt, and it saved it perfectly. And it's real simple, and that's how you scan a document. The next thing I want to show you is how to add a photo to your note. Maybe you're on vacation, maybe you want to take a picture of something and attach a little note to it. It's very, very simple to do. Again, you just tap and hold on the note and click on New Photo, and then you can just take a photo. I'll take a photo of my little plant, and I've got it, and then you just click on Use Photo. And now you can type a note. This is 
my plant and you can click on done now when you go back to your notes you've got a picture of the plant with the note beside it a very very handy little tool the next thing I want to talk to you about is folders sometimes you just need folders to keep things organized you know as your uh, number of notes grow it's just easier to keep track of them if you have them in folders and organize. Folders are your friends and they're not hard to make. So again, you'll hold on the icon and open up your app, open up the notes app, and then down here at the bottom left, you've got a little folder icon with a plus on it. If you tap that and type new folder, that's what we'll name this one, and click on save. Now you have a new folder. And now you can drag notes and you can put notes in that folder. And it's just a simple and easy way to keep things organized. I love using Apple Notes. It's almost like they were made for me. Well, that wraps it up for this video. I hope you found these tips useful. And if it helps you to get the hang of using Apple Notes, rewind and watch this video again. I've also put markers in the description below if you want to jump around to a part you found interesting. And as always, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.